please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Yo. Hello everyone, from end keepers to people who are excellent to drop here by strange YouTube recommendations. Today we will talk about the end's hibernation period. To begin with, hibernation, according to the dictionary, is the state of being asleep for the winter. And the ants do indeed hibernate, however, they don't really sleep but rather simply rest in their nests. The body temperature of ants changes in response to the atmospheric temperature, and therefore, in regions with cold winters, they need a place to rest because their body temperature falls and their movements become sluggish. In the wild, most ants dig underground to stay in relatively warm temperatures, and that's how ants, so to say, disappear for winter but then rise dramatically in numbers already in spring. There are two questions that I will try to help get an answer in. First one is do all species require hibernation, and if so, how to hibernate ants at home? Well, first of all, most species require hibernation. If you decided to become an ant keeper and get yourself an ant colony, then you definitely need to check whether these species require hibernation. I know many cases when ant keepers were unaware of hibernation for their ants and their colonies were developing very slow or not developing at all. Some species are very sensitive to hibernation, for example, for most component species, hibernation is essential, but there are exceptions like Nicobarensis and the Isiops species that don't need hibernation, but instead they do diopause, which means they become inactive and just take their time to have some rest. So here we go. How to check if your ants need hibernation? Well, there are two ways. First one is to simply Google your species or ask the ant keeper who gave them to you. Second one is to check where your species originally come from. If they're from a place with a wintry season, then your ants most likely need to hibernate. The thing is that even if you try to keep your ants warm during the winter, your ants will probably still hibernate anyway. Because ants run on biological clock. If you see that ants activity and feeding level drop drastically, then it's time to let them rest in a colder place where the temperature is close to the original weather region. Another indicator that ants are preparing to hibernate is that they close the entrance to their nest. According to the information I found, it says that ants from temperature regions should be hibernated for at least a month or so, and failing to do so shortens the lives of the queens, who miss that solid break from the physically demanding task of egg laying for a few months. I definitely recommend to hibernate your ant colonies. They don't really require food during the hibernation period, but don't forget about the water. You need to ensure that the formicarium continues to stay moist like usual, which means you may have to check up on the formicarium on a regular basis to ensure that the colony is properly hydrated. The good news is that a cold nest doesn't lose moisture as quickly as a warm or room temperature formicarium, so you won't have to water the nest as frequently as you're used to during the warmer months. Before hibernation, I recommend to provide your colony with a larger amount of food, which will allow them to go without food through the winter. When it comes to the second question, how to hibernate your ants at home, well, I would recommend basement as a perfect option. I heard also people are hibernating their colonies in the ant tubes in fridges, and this surely can be a solution if you have a small colony in a test tube. Thank you guys for watching this video, I hope I helped you in solving your questions with uh, hibernation of your ant colonies. If you have any thoughts on this or corrections or comments, please leave it down below in the comments. That's all for today, see you guys in the next videos.